I don't like the looks of this. Riven is using war claws to patrol the garrison instead of brethren soldiers. Either house forces are stretched thinner than I thought, or Brivin wants to justify the use of mercenaries to the council. Maybe nothing, maybe everything. We know Ulron refused to employ mercenaries. He hated counting on thugs to do the right thing. The war claws may be a blessing in disguise. I can... There's no stealthy way to approach this. The front door's our only option. Glad to see we all made it. Now let's find Brivin before Vea skewers him. Enjoys the attention. <sighs> Nothing yet, eh? I hear what I haven't so much as heard or seen even a whisper of Briven yet. Just a lot. It's always important to figure out where a target keeps its wine. In this case, down in the cellars. There's and I'll figure out how to get this door open.
on his way. Soon we'll have a permanent job in House Redoran, yes? the three are you up to? I thought you worked for Counselor Eris. You better have a damn good reason for killing the mercenary leader. I ought to... Vea? She's barely out from under her mother's apron and she presumes to judge my actions? No matter. Whatever your motives, nothing justifies the blatant killing of Ferrara and her mercenaries. Ah, now everything becomes clear. Vea learned something of her brother's fate and wants to retaliate. Then let her come. You're looking for the responsible party. Then look no further than Counselor Eris. He wanted to prove his son's loyalty to the house. A test Ulrun failed. Eris was devastated when his son sided with the savages, and his daughter ran away. He decided to resign his position. Hmm? Oh! That's for Auron. Choke on your own blood, you bastard. My father, the entire council, they're all guilty. They all have to die. I have to do this, so stay out of my way. Vea killed Briven. Without a writ. It was pure, focused rage. I know I'm not sure they deserve to be saved, but that's what we have to do. Vea can't be allowed to kill the counselors. I... We... Have to stop her. The Morog Tong only recently began to find acceptance again. Veya's actions don't just reflect badly on me. They could be used to force us back into the shadows. Maybe we have to get ahead of her. Cut her off. There's a door on the main floor, near the kitchens, that should allow us to come at the council meeting from another direction. Nothing is more important than reaching the council meeting. If the mercenaries get in our way, cut them down. Leave the Dominion. Vea is getting close. We're running out of time. Let me try to open this door. Vea, daughter. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. Come on, stubborn, stupid lock. Father, why? Does the house really matter more than your own son? I needed to protect Uron. To prove his loyalty. If I could do it all over again. But you can't. None of us can. That's why they I have are to no. do this. That's an order. I'm not your apprentice anymore. The house has grown corrupt, evil. That's why all the counselors have to die.
No more secrets. House Redoran falls today. Enough, they are. This isn't the way. would have listened. Outlander, the Morag Tong agent. She cares deeply for Veya, doesn't she? It takes great courage to go against your heart and do what you know is best. A series of regrettable decisions led to this family tragedy, and most of them were made by Eris Relith. I knew of Ulron's compassion concerning the Ashlanders. It was unorthodox, but not worthy of the punishment meted out. Eris convinced Briven to test Ulron. Then the two of them decided to slaughter the Ashlanders. Oh, the Council allowed itself to be convinced that exile was an appropriate punishment. But we were wrong to let it go as far as it did. I didn't say that. But we're not butchers. We do not hire mercenary thugs to wipe out an entire people. House Redoran behaved poorly. Morag Tong rules were violated. I suggest we make sure these details never see the light of day. Cooperate with House Redoran and hold your tongues. I'm not sure about this. It's a generous offer, but those are some big secrets to sweep under a rug. Besides, Fea isn't dead. The High Counselor thinks we killed her. The deal hinges upon all of us forgetting this sorry mess ever happened. When have I ever been able to convince Vea to do anything she didn't want to do? There's redder and blood on Vea's hands. Once the Morog Tong ties those unauthorized murderers to her, she's as good as dead anyway. And? I don't see many options. We can either finish off Vea now, and go along with the High Counselor's deception, or we slip out of here with Vea and send her far, far away. You're... You're right. If anyone's to blame for all this, it's me. I wasn't a good enough mentor. If for no other reason, Vea deserves a second chance. Look, you need to leave. We'll meet back in Vormra. Go on. I'll get her out of here before the Council notices and meet you in Vormra. told you not to stick your blade in your apprentices, Nayu. She'll live, but she can't stay here. Not after what she's done. I've got that covered. They won't be staying in Vardenfell. Ashur did an outstanding job. For an assassin, he's got a gift for the healing arts. They is going to live. Now I just have to convince her to listen to me this time. And as far as she knows, she did. Now Vea needs to disappear. 
I've arranged for a ship captain I know to meet us in Vivek City. From there, Bea will sail to Somerset and rendezvous with an associate of mine. As long as everyone sticks to the bargain, I go about my usual business. A writ here, a nice bath there, maybe a few intimate encounters along the way. To re Always, hero. Oh, hey, I want you to have this. Something to remember me by until we meet again. I hope you don't leave here with the impression that all dark elves are conniving dirtbags. Canary! What happened? Quiet, Bea. Rest now. We can talk later. Yes, I know a Silt Strider is a giant bug. My Silt Strider can take you to either. is on the way. I've received assurances from House Rhetorin. They will handle this trouble in the mine. You need only be patient. Patient? The foreman just dragged another egg hand out of the mine and he's worse than the rest. This is on your head. Sea travel seems... You're in luck.
Dear Tyrwin, how I long to see you smile. Ah, love. How cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire. 